Hello there and welcome to another review of The Shield Doing a Couch. I'm your host Hector and tonight we're going to talk about the fifth album by Oceans of Slumber called Starlight and Ash. And this is a band from Texas that has been around for a few years now and they dabbled in a little bit of prog, a little bit of doom. But with this album, uh, they're calling it New Southern Gothic. And it's a great way to describe this album. Uh, the last time the band released an album was in 2020. And the main difference between this album and the new album is, first of all, the length of the songs. The songs on this album are shorter, so they cut away more of the prog side of like more longer compositions for more simple compositions, but yet stunning musically. And I think what they did with this album is that they catered better to Cami Gilbert's vocals. Uh, she's got a great vocal style. You know, she's got gospel in her. She can really sing her lungs out and, you know, in different styles. She's not a growler. You know, she's a great singer that has great range. And I think the soulfulness of her voice gives a lot of meaning to this band and makes them stand out among other bands. Uh, when they started, they were more doom and prog, but as I said earlier, with this album, they're cutting down some of the length of the songs and focusing more on Cami's vocals and the music, yeah, it's it has more uh, commercial appeal to it because I think what they're doing with this album is at making more accessible songs that more people can get into oceans of slumber without losing the essence of what the band is. Uh, so the album has 11 songs and it's like 49 minutes in length. Uh, they released a few singles, which I thought were great. They start the album with The Waters Rising and Hearts of Stone, The Lighthouse. So the three singles that they released start the album. And something that all these three singles have in common is great catchy choruses. Uh, when the chorus hits on each song, it's very memorable. Like you remember that chorus, especially the water's rising. Uh, it's that the chorus on that one, uh, it hits some highs, it hits some lows. And I really enjoy the chorus on that one. I think it makes for a great opening track. And the, Chorus is that, can you take me to the ocean side? Can you take me to the water's edge? And she sings those vocals so beautifully with so much passion that you really feel, feel them. And something else about this album, uh, the album uh, doesn't have a concept, but most of these songs relate to where they grew up in Texas and about childhood memories or maybe some even some sad memories. For example, a song like the hanging tree uh we all know you know the connotation of a hanging tree in slavery times it's where they you know kill people and hang people and it happened in the south for many years unfortunately and this song touches a little bit about that topic and the way cami sings on it you know like you really you there's such a soulfulness to her voice and and uh she can transmit pain but so beautifully uh that it's really something that makes it stand out uh the lighthouse is a song that i thought was very interesting it starts with some like really southern guitar tones and that really you can really f hear the southern rock on that song so as i said Previously, they pulled back a little bit of more like aggressive music and some of the prog that they did and they trimmed that down and do more. It's more of a rock metal album, but really with the soul. The uh, soul of this album is Cami Gilbert. Her vocals are what gives this song, you know, death and the band played musically to her advantages on all the songs. Uh, for example, uh, on songs like Just a Day, 
is a song that has a previous song before in the spring of 21, which is more of a piano uh, instrumental and goes into Just a Day. And Just a Day starts really slowly with Cami's vocals, and it really reminds you of more of alternative bands uh, from earlier in the 2000s. And then the song picks up and it has more of a bombastic feel. So it, it starts really slowly and it starts building, building until it gets to that great part and Cami's vocals with the full blast of the music makes it just one of the standout tracks on the album. Uh, another one that really stood out to me Red was Forest Roads. I really enjoyed that song so much. Uh, I really enjoyed Cami's vocals and the music is really soft and subtle. And, it, you know, it takes you on a journey. Uh, the band does a cover of The Animals for House of the Rising Song. And it's a great cover. You know, they don't stray away a lot from what the original sounds like. So they, it's a cover that is pretty similar to the original, but it works great for the band, especially on this type of like sound that they're trying to pull with this album. And finally, with the Shipbuilder song, they end on a high note, a great song, very emotional song to end the album. So to me, Starlight and Ash is an album that it's not an instant album that you will listen to it and grab you. You have to give it time. But once you give it time, uh, you are going to be very impressed with what this band brings to the table because they are very unique sounding. Uh, not a whole lot of bands sound like this, and I, I can't state it enough. Uh, Cami has one of the best vocals of a female singer right now in rock and metal, and I've seen the band live, so I know she has some pipes. Uh, they're just amazing. And this album, I think, will make the band more accessible to people that maybe uh, didn't like the previous album because it was more uh, harder. So I think that the strength of this band is when they do the melodies with Cami's range. Uh, when they do that, I think the band is better. And that's why I think this album is going to be very popular for the band. So what did you think about Starlight and Ash? Do you like Oceans of Slumber? Comment, what were your favorite tracks? What do you think of Cami Gilbert and her vocals? Is she one of your favorite uh, vocalists uh, right now uh, for females in metal. Let me know. So if you like the videos down, put it out. Uh, don't forget to give me a like. Don't, for don't forget to subscribe. And I have more content on the way. So until next time, this is Hector, the Shield Dude in the Couch, and I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you and good night.